Hey fam, and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, the title as you've seen it, yes, you might be wondering if you are a placeholder in the relationship that you are currently in. We're going to talk about it right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So today I have seven tips to decide. Yes, you have to make the decision yourself, right? I can only provide the information for you, but at the end of the day, you have to be the one to take the action. So now I'm going to give you seven tips to see if you are a placeholder in the relationship that you are currently in. Now, being a placeholder is basically where you are not the one for the person that you are with. However, you are the one who is thinking and trying to decipher if this person is truly for you, if they are truly all in in the relationship, and you're just trying to understand where they stand. Now, the sad part about this, sis, the sad part about this, bruh, is they are never going to tell you. So you have to use your God-given discernment. Yes, that's what I'm giving you today. I'm helping you with your God-given discernment so you will understand if you are just a placeholder. You are basically just filling a void that they have in their life and they are still waiting on the one to come through and swoop them off their feet. The first way to tell if you are just a placeholder is if you are now the rebound girl or the rebound girl guy. Now, this is something that you should know because when your relationship or when you guys first meet and you start dating and everything, that question should have come up, when was your last relationship, you know, and then you will understand and know if it's been a few weeks, a few months or years or whatever, you'll be able to understand and possibly know if you are the placeholder within the relationship that you're currently in. Now, a disclaimer for this particular one is if they've done the work between the relationship, even if it's been a few weeks, a few months, a year or two, as long as they've done the work, basically reflecting, I talk about this stuff all the time, reflecting on their part that they played in it, what they can actually do better in this new relationship, like et cetera, et cetera, right? Because I talk about this stuff all the time. So if they've done the work to really understand who they are, what they need, what they deserve, what they are worth, then you could possibly not be the rebound person. It's possible. However, you have to understand if they have currently get, gotten out of a relationship and if they've done the work. If they're still bitter and talking really, really harsh and bad about their ex, trust me, they are not ready to move on to the next relationship. I talked about this before as well in a video not too long ago. If they are bad mouthing their ex, you're going to be the next ex that they bad mouth. Number two, are you a placeholder in the relationship that you're currently in? Another way to decipher this is to see how much time they are giving you out of their schedule. Now, I totally understand that sometimes we all just get a bit busy and we can not really give the time and energy that we want to give to our relationship. However, if their pattern, every since you have met them, they have only given you a smidgen of their time and you take it, it's probably because you are a placeholder because trust and believe me, when you want something, you go after it and you get it. Now, specifically speaking for the men, when the men want you, ain't nothing you can do. You basically about to get got. They might chase you for a lot longer, like the time frames might be different um, um, according to each man. But if they want you, you just as got work ain't got nothing to do with how much time they spend with you. I mean, I, I get it, like with, with within reason, right? Especially if they, you know, just, just really are busy with work and trying to finish up a goal or a project or something that they're working on. Maybe they're working for towards their next promotion. So there are things that you must think about when it comes to these things. However, comma, they're not giving you a tiny minuscule piece of their time every single time. Like if they're doing that during the week, and then on the weekend, you get a day or a, like a full day. And a full day is like eight hours. That's what I mean by a full day. I'm not talking about a full 24 hours because 
if they that busy, that means they have to find time to still live their life. Maybe they need to work out. Maybe they need to buy groceries. Maybe they need to wash laundry. So a full day that I'm speaking about is at least eight hours. Now, when you're in the beginning, you shouldn't be spending that much time together. But I'm just saying, okay, you are currently in a relationship, but you're still feeling like, eh, is this person all in for me? They only giving you a tiny bit of their time. All I'm saying is watch it. Now, let me also add in here, before I get to point number three, if they are only doing one or two of these things out of seven, then you might not be a placeholder, but you still want to keep your eyes open. However, if you are over 50, 60, 70, 100 percent, bruh, sis, you're probably not there, the one, and acts, and that's okay. It totally is okay. Don't beat yourself up, but when we know better, we do better. Now moving on point three. All right, moving on to point number three. So when you guys are together, when you're hanging out or, you know, whatever, you guys have decided to go somewhere together and their friends are going to be there or some type of family member or something like that, they're going to be there. You never really feel included. You actually feel more like a tag along versus the significant other versus the girlfriend versus the boyfriend. You feel like an extra in his show. Watch out for that. The fourth thing I talk about this a lot, which is the gut, that gut feeling. If your gut is telling you that the person is at all in, again, keep your eyes open. Because that doesn't mean it has to be a deal breaker, but we're not 100% in depending on the stage of the relationship, right? So if you guys have been all the way in, as in, you guys have made it a, a solidified couple that you guys are going to, you know, be exclusive, et cetera, et cetera. That still doesn't mean that they are 100 percent in, meaning they don't know which level they want to take it to next with you. They're still trying to decide. That's OK, because you want to be sure relationships are serious business. So you want to be sure the person that you're going to choose as your lifetime partner really is just that. That's OK. And especially if you are the one who has the gut feeling. It's okay, but still pay attention. Pay attention because that gut will tell you some things. And as time moves on, if that feeling, if that gut feeling never goes away, there might be some things that you need to adjust. The fifth way to tell that maybe you are just a placeholder is that you are not integrated into their life. Like you don't know about the time that they wake up when they go to bed. And not, that's not a check in schedule. OK, so don't come for me on that. Like I have to check in. No. But as you as you're getting to know someone, as you are building a relationship, as you are building a life with someone, eventually your lives get so intertwined. They get so integrated that you don't remember the last time you did X, Y and Z without this person knowing. And again, it's not a check in thing. It is a respect for yourself. It is a respect for your partner. And of course, a respect for the relationship itself. Number six actually goes back to number two, which is all of that tiny minuscule amount of time that they had. It is always on their schedule, which is number six. It's always on their schedule when you guys see each other, when you hang out, when you are working on the relationship. It's all on their schedule. They never want that whole tug of war, that push and pull thing that's going on in the relationship or even the word compromise, right? They never want the compromise. It's always their way or no way. Their way, the highway. Just it's never your way is the point. And number seven, maybe you are just a placeholder in their life when they are waiting for the one to come is for any of you guys who are actually moved in with each other. Yes, you're in a relationship. You guys have said that you're going to be exclusive, but you're still feeling some of these things that I already mentioned previously. But you, for this one, number seven, you guys are actually living in the same household and there are no future plans, no future talks about y'all future together. A wedding date, the house that you guys are going to buy, um, maybe even children. There is never any future plans of any of that happening for the two of you. All right, fam, these are the seven tips to see if you 
Yes, you are a placeholder in the current relationship that you are in. Did any of these resonate with you? Did that person that you are currently dating or seeing or in a relationship with, do they meet 50% or higher of these particular signs and tips? There is something that you need to work on if they do meet these things, as in making your exit plan. Of course, give me thumbs up and I will see you again in the next video. Deuces.